Why do you pay attention to my connections with Delaware? <laughs> We're here to celebrate the life, the work, the impact of our friend, colleague, mentor, Russ Acoff. Russ has meant so much to so many, and you all want to say something about it. This afternoon, we have a memorial service in which people who wanted to say something will say something, but don't leave that as the only opportunity. Spend time afterwards during the receptions, later, remain in contact, continue to talk about it. I, I came in contact with Russ you know, when I was a doctoral student. I was studying with a, a different mentor, Donald T. Campbell, and I was studying conspiracies. He told me to read Russ's book on purposeful systems. And I thought it was really great, but it had really nothing to do with being in psychology. And then I came in contact with him again when I was putting together a course in problem solving and decision making. So I made it, read his book, The Art of Problem Solving. I thought it was pretty interesting, but it really didn't have anything to do with what I was doing in psychology. And then in 2002, I met Russ, and I fell in love with him. And suddenly, what he had said in the past and what he was saying had everything to do with psychology. And in fact, I was no longer a psychologist. I was now in the system world. Russ, to me, was something special in the way of a relationship. He adopted me, and I was a willing pupil. I used to think about Russ in kind of picturesque terms. He was incredibly creative, with a capital C. He was incredibly complicated, which means there were so many parts of him. And he was incredibly complex, which meant they all interacted. And when we talk about him today, you will hear complications and the complexities. There's an Italian term, sprezzatura, which is used to describe a kind of style, panache, a mastery of things, a way of being. And in my understanding of Russ, he made the incredibly complex it seems so easy. He always knew. I didn't always agree, but he always knew the answer. And so we will hear from others who also had things. And these people, many of whom you know, many of these you would want to know, all make up the image, the vision, the creativity, the complication, and complexity of our leader and teacher, Russ Aikon. These people will get up one at a time and say what they have to say. And there's, there's no order of how you respond, so I'm going to just leave it up to each person to say their words, and if you would like to applaud or cry, that's fine. 